Once upon a time, a little girl was born in Grabtown, North Carolina. She was the youngest of seven children. She was born dirt poor, but that would soon change. Little Ava Lavinia Gardner was destined to become simply Ava Gardner. But there was nothing simple about her. Mr. Dawes, do you think really that I could be a star? In the 1940s, Ava Gardner was truly one of the most glamorous stars in Hollywood. She had a natural glamour. It wasn't put upon or affected like so many of the fabricated stars of her time. That's probably because she came from very humble beginnings. She was born poor. Ava Lavinia Gardner, the youngest of seven children, two brothers and four sisters. Her father was a tobacco tenant farmer and her mother cooked and cleaned for boarders. Growing up on the streets of Smithfield, Ava hardly wore shoes. When she was almost 20, Ava went to New York City to visit her oldest sister. She was photographed by her sister's husband and the photo was displayed in his photography studio window and was soon noticed by a talent scout from MGM. Somebody should put her in pictures. They did and the rest, well, was history. Ava Gardner was loved by all her friends and relatives. She never shunned her background or her humble beginnings. She always remained true to herself and never let fame go to her head. In 1996, as a tribute to a beloved former resident, the town of Smithfield opened the Ava Gardner Museum. Ava Gardner died in London in 1990 and unfortunately did not live to see the wonderful 6,400 square foot museum that showcases her life and her career. But we can take a look inside and enjoy the many objects, personal items, and memorabilia that are permanently on display. Come on, let's go. Over here is a bookcase that contains books from Ava's personal book collection in her London apartment. A lot of these books are her research books for the movies that she ended up making. Over here you have her copy of Showboat. And over here you have the original play for uh, The Night of the Iguana. And on the beaches over here. And down here are all of Ava's scripts which she had bound in leather. You can see the different titles, The Barefoot Contessa, Magambo, the film that she was nominated for an Academy Award. The movie, The Killers, based on a story by Ernest Hemingway, was the movie that put Ava Gardner on the map. It was a wonderful film noir with her co-star Burt Lancaster. This is the movie that made Ava Gardner a star.
A love came Bill Who's not the type at all You'd meet him on the street And never notice him His form and face His manly grace Is not the kind that you Would find in a statue I'm in front of a photo taken at MGM's silver anniversary. MGM got all these stars together to celebrate. And as you can see in the picture, Ava Gardner is front and center next to Clark Gable. I love him. In the 1970s and early 80s, a gentleman named Adelbert Pfeiffer, who lived in the Netherlands, was in love with uh, Ava Gardner. He just adored her. He was a painter and he never met her in his life, but he painted many, many, many paintings of her. When he passed away, there were over 20 paintings of Ava Gardner in his personal collection. And they asked her, would she like one of them? She not only liked, would like one of them, she wanted three of them. These were the three that she picked. You notice the little mouse on her arm, which we zoomed in on. There's something a little quirky about each one of Mr. Pfeiffer's paintings. This painting he painted in 1981. This happens to be one of my favorite ones. The quirkiness about this painting is that the table down below has no table base or legs. The hands on this are slightly mismatched. Now when you visit the Ava Gardner Museum, just a few short traffic lights away is the Sunset Memorial Park Cemetery, where the Gardner family has their plots. This is the Gardner family uh, burial site. where her mother and father are buried. And right here is Ava Gardner's final resting place. Born December 24th on Christmas Eve, 1922, passed away on January 25th, 1990. And when I was older, And the bomb still came. Just to bury myself in the dirt was not enough to be safe. I needed someone to be with me. Someone to love, to love me, to make me safe. I needed it. I still need it when I'm afraid. Like a baby who needs a light on in the dark. I need to be loved when I'm hiding in the dirt and afraid. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that tour of the Ava Gardner Museum. I want to thank Donna from the museum for giving me the personal tour. And I want to thank Linnell Siebold, the museum director, for allowing this to happen. I also want to thank the several new subscribers that joined the show this week. Thank you so much for subscribing to the show. And I also want to remind you Get ready for the big Halloween episode of My Thoughts Exactly on Saturday, October 31st. It'll be a big show with a lot of surprises. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time on My Thoughts Exactly.